The reality of life after Hurricane Harvey is now setting in for people across Texas. Many lost absolutely everything, but they're just happy to be alive. Scenes like this are playing out across the region. This woman is trying to clean out her flooded home in Dickinson. Not far away, the flood water receded in one neighborhood, allowing residents back in. Their belongings are everywhere and badly damaged. It's been very hard. It's very hard to walk into this and to see what it's done. Um, I'm just I'm just thankful, though, that we do have some great people that have helped us out. Experts say this storm could exceed Katrina in terms of damage. Officials estimate it destroyed more than 100,000 homes. Insurance losses could reach $37 billion. Well, a surf pro team from Gresham is traveling to Texas to help with that cleanup. KGW's Rachel Raffinelli talked with them before they left. And Rachel, they say they're ready for this. Brenda, they are, and this team just left for Houston a couple of minutes ago. They specialize in cleaning up flooded homes, and they know they've got a lot of work to do. Friday morning, all hands on deck as the Surf Pro of Gresham team gears up to go into a disaster zone. A team of four will take three vehicles full of gear from Gresham all the way to Houston. Sean Sevier is one of the members who volunteered to go. Taking tons of axial fans, centrifugal fans, dehumidifiers. We're taking a big desiccant trailer with generators. Sean's team will meet up with two other Serve Pro Gresham team members already in Houston. Together, the team of six will help people get their lives together by doing what they do best despite devastating conditions. We're worried about, you know, mold growing, uh, microbial growth. You know, it's all category three water, so it's, you know, it's from the ocean, it's from sewers. They'll help both homes and businesses. The goal is at least three a day. Yes. They plan to work 14 hour days for two to three weeks, but as they fuel up before the long drive, they know it's worth it. Just there to help them, thinking about that, uh, thinking about keeping everybody that's coming with me safe and back to our families as well. And they hope to get to Houston in two to three days, depending on the Labor Day traffic. Then they're going to get right to work. And Brenda, we wish them a really safe journey.